Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews. Well, this is just going to be a quick update about some of the new devices that Samsung is set to release at the Unpacked event in San Francisco next week on February the 20th. Now, apparently a recent update was done by Samsung to the wearable app and it revealed an entire lineup of new products which are set to be officially launched alongside the new S10 smartphone next week. Now, I don't know if this was intentional or by mistake, but you can actually check this out for yourself by opening up your, your wearable app and then clicking on connect to a new device. Now the new products that are listed here include some Galaxy wireless earbuds, a fitness band, and of course the Galaxy Watch Active, which we've been talking about now for several weeks. And as you can see by the photo, the watch actually looks fairly similar to the leaked photos that we've been seeing floating around the internet lately, whereby it shows a bezel-less display, and this one also looks like it's going to come in two colors, at least a black and a silver version. Now the other thing you're going to notice is the case size. It's quite a bit smaller than the Gear Sport or the S3 or the Galaxy Watch, which were 42 and 46 millimeters in size respectively. This new watch looks like it's going to come in at 40 millimeters, and as I said, there isn't a bezel anywhere in the photo, so it should be interesting to see how the new user interface is going to compensate for this lack of a rotating mechanical bezel. Now the other devices on display are a couple new fitness bands called the Galaxy Fit and the Galaxy Fit E, and both come equipped with watch style rubber straps. Now the Fit E model name was actually leaked about a month ago, although there hasn't been any further information unfortunately about what the difference here is between the two devices or what even the E signifies. And the last item that you're going to see on the list are these brand new Galaxy earbuds. Now there's been some previous information leaked about this device and that said that they're going to have the ability to charge wirelessly from the Galaxy S10 itself, which would be a very cool feature. But again, we're going to have to wait and see their full capabilities when they're revealed next week. Anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing these for yourself, then as I said, you just need to open up your Galaxy wearable app, select connect a new device, and then you're going to be able to see the three new devices there. And for those counting down, we're only five days away now from the unpacked event in San Francisco, so it'll be interesting to see if there's any more leaks before then. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks again for watching our review, and if you liked it, then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends, because with your support, it really helps me keep the channel going, so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and of course, fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.